Job is up. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't think I vlogged on here in like three months. Um, and to be honest, I haven't really felt the need to or felt inspired to even create anything, to be honest. Life has just been fucking life. Um, and that type of shit happens. And I just kind of want to get on here, give you guys a few updates and kind of give you guys a gist of what the fuck is going on in my life. Uh, for one, I am moving to Los Angeles. Um, I originally was going to keep my apartment here in New Jersey, but decided not to. Financially, it's just kind of fucking stupid to have two apartments paying $15,000 a month. Not really going to be in either one place um, for a long period of time. So that literally makes zero sense. Um, but I am somewhat excited to move to LA. Um, did I, do I think that I'm going to reside there for more than three years? No. Uh, don't see that happening. It's another experience on another coast, but on the East Coast, West Coast, um, and in the South. So I could check all that stuff off. Um, honestly, just where I'm at in my life right now, I'm fucking exhausted mentally. Um, and I would say maybe physically, who knows? I kind of get up every day and kind of just go through the fucking motions. Haven't been on my routine and Lord knows how fucking long. And I don't know, just a plethora of things. If you guys tuned into my Instagram, you obviously know that I'm having a kid. Um, extremely excited about having a daughter. Um, has this whole situation been the picture perfect I'm um, becoming a dad situation? Completely honest, fuck no. I am really like burnt out with the fact of a lot of shit that's like taking place with like some of my family, um, some situations between me and my girlfriend. Uh, it's just a lot of different things that just really haven't made like the situation what i thought it would be when you like find out like you're having your kid and the crazy thing is is i found out on my grandma's birthday if you guys been following me for a while you know my grandma passed away um so found out on juneteenth which was exciting um but just overall like it's just been a lot of like it's been a lot of shit it's just been a lot i talk about it in my therapy sessions um and you know, I'm really looking forward to getting past this point, and I don't know when that will be. Uh, I honestly think, you know, moving and getting out of, uh, off the East Coast was, or is going to spark some new inspiration and get me to a point to where, like, I feel like it's kind of like a restart for me. Um, and being able to just like, you know, flourish going into being 30, because my birthday is November 9th, and just really looking forward to kind of like a new chapter here. My 20s have been like great to me. The tail end of my 20s hasn't been like the best due to some self-inflicted shit. Um, and honestly, you know, stuff outside of my control too. Uh, but it's just like life happening all at once. I don't ever get to the point where I feel like, you know, I'll quit or anything like that or no shit. Um, I just really like take time for myself and I don't create when I don't want to create because I don't like forcing things. Um, and shit like that because it just feels unauthentic to being able to post. Uh, my therapy sessions, I am in therapy because as I said in one of my videos, I completely lack empathy. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to understand considering some type of content and stuff that I do make. But as a person that is no, a person that's known myself my entire life, I 100% lack empathy. I sometimes cannot feel the way others feel or put myself in other shoes because I think very logical, I think very black and white. Um, which in business is great, but in my personal life, it's just not the best and it can come off as like cold or not understanding. And then honestly, like even with like some of my friends, like you feel like you can't come to me and talk to me, which I've had deep conversations with uh, my close friends about that. And honestly came to like some real uh, realizations between like friendships and stuff like that. Um, and been able to like talk and honestly become closer uh, with some of the people that I'm around. So that's been going good. Like I've been in therapy probably, I wanna say three months? I think three months. I'm not sure, maybe two months. Uh, but yeah, still would need to dive a little bit deeper into a couple of things that I still wanna learn about myself. Like why I'm so reactive in certain situations and why I do lack that sense of empathy because I'm the type of person that if something happens to me, I leave it in that time period and I move past it. And that's how I expect other people to do. And that's not how the world operates. People feel things for an extended period of time. And I just don't understand that. And that's okay. 
And if anybody deals with shit that they're not comfortable with or they're like kind of embarrassed about themselves, the shit is what it is, bro. We all got problems. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Go talk to somebody about it. Um, another thing, um, just like boundaries. Boundaries right now in my fucking life are just non-existent to some people. Non-fucking existent. And for anyone, like friends, family, relationships, whatever it is, boundaries are boundaries. And when people say boundaries, don't fucking go over them because it's just a constant disrespect of something that someone's put in place for, you know, a number of reasons. And I right now just have a few people that are just constantly just fucking crossing boundaries. And it's honestly frustrating because it's happening during a period where I feel like I'm supposed to be enjoying myself and honestly opening up like my emotions probably more because I'm bringing like my daughter into this world and I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I feel completely fucking closed off most of the time and like just really focusing on my work to keep myself from like just really kind of dealing with that. Um, but like right now I'm just like really fucking closed off and it just has to do with the plethora of, of bullshit coming out of like left and right field, whether it's like people in the past trying to like pop up and say dumb shit um, or people that you're close to saying dumb shit um, or just like, you know, situations that take place. And honestly, I'm fucking over it. And that's why I'm sitting here making this video is like, I'm really over people's shit. Completely over it. Over it to the point where I just like, I don't even wanna fucking text anybody. I don't wanna call nobody. I call my dad, really. My dad's really like my only fucking person that has logical sense right now. And like, I'm just honestly searching for brighter days. Cause as you can see behind me, it's gloomy as fuck. And that's how life is feeling right now. Gloomy as fuck. And hopefully it gets sunny. Not even hopefully, it will get sunny. I don't know when. Um, and hopefully just like this new chapter of my life, I'm able to really face the stuff that I need to face, get past it, and be the best person that I possibly can. Because right now it just feels like a very much standstill. Um, I transformed a lot in my 20s. Uh, that's due strictly to like routine and staying on top of things and understanding my triggers in a lot of places. I still fall short in a lot of places too. Um, and I'm working on that. That's just life. You're a constant work in progress. You're never going to be like not working on yourself. I don't think you'll ever reach just like the perfect self. But I think the mission of this lifetime, because no one knows what the fuck happens after this, is to literally just work towards being the best person of you. So that is somewhat of an update in my life. Very raw, very uncut. Probably not the video you guys fucking expected. But um, yeah, that's what's going on with me. Um, I plan on posting on here at some point. I found motivation in some days and the next day I'm like, nah, I'm not really feeling it. And if I'm not feeling it, I am recording shit. Um, I love everybody, appreciate everybody. And I still need to give away that MacBook. Trust me, I haven't forgot about that. And yeah, this is nine minutes of me talking about my current state of life while the weather fucking matches that shit but it will get brighter and yeah i'm excited to bring my daughter into this world <laughs>